What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. If Starstrike Blast being on my screen has you nervous, you're shaking, what five-head buyout happened on a common you didn't see coming this time, or what expensive card already got more expensive, I just wanted to say 6969 nine, nice to the market price of Red Nova Dragon. That being said, let's get into today's market watch. The unsponsorable by Konami channel just wants to win one of their giveaways. They are doing an insane giveaway on the secret rare blue letter name. These cards have gone like Guardian Angel Joe united we stand 1500 3000 crazy prices and this is by far the most notable card in this position for seto kaiba's birthday and i noticed the number are a lot less on the giveaways per regions like the south america regions in central america and then you have the na region here you also have eu giveaway so look through the twitters find the giveaway you're looking for depending where you're living all you got to do for the na one is do hashtag sweepstakes hashtag Yu -Gi -Oh collection and show off some of your favorite blue eyes white dragon themed cards toys and and or accessories again i'm not sponsored to do this i'm just hoping to win here's my post with my giant from worlds holographic official blue eyes with the dds one on top for show and scale then we have that sticker i recently pulled that video bombed please watch it it's linked at the end inflate my ego just a little instead of letting that be 3,000 views it was a freaking epic pack opening then we have my blue eyes white dragon next to those kaiju sized figures i really like how these look together and then you have my favorite apparel the blue eyes white dragon socks that i'm gonna break out next time i'm forced into something like jury duty again these go for a freaking lot and even if you guys you know are my competition in terms of actually winning this giveaway i always put the members of the channel first and i've been told when i've shouted these out dude i won you shouted this out and i won this is crazy so i hope that some of you once again and you have a while to enter if you want to think about your post but it's supposed to be completely random for the winners it's open until november 7th 2021 so that gives you a little bit but speaking of what's not you know in a little bit those tcg player bonus bucks the 26 has crept up on us are going to be happening at 9 a.m central and with that a ton of buyouts are happening even before that christian halka fibrax both ultimate rare and ultra rare have shot up a freaking lot and i don't think this is just for sword soul but let me know if you found a way to mesh it into your build even with those like limits on what you can go up to in synchro summoning and that sort of stuff i feel like you don't need it though but let me know how you play that deck and what deck you might be using this in currently this card is no slouch it does appear into the metagame here and there but the ultra rares are up so high that people are now buying out the ultimates going well this will fall out a little less than the ultra rare if anything happens to it or gets reprinted so i'll just go ahead and buy the freaking ulti and the sales rates are just bubbling 120s 125 and there's listings at 120 now so if you're eyeing it for tcg player bonus bucks backs first off you better bookmark my tcg player link to support the channel directly and slam it when that sale go lives i i have had people ask does it stack on the sale absolutely it does so slam that link when you shop the sale tomorrow starting at 9 a.m central i'm too excited the sales are actually just crazy to see what happens to the market both the good and bad the competitive sellers jumping in the middle or people listing in the night of to be competitive and make those sales it's such an interesting day on what's going to happen creation resonator also talking about synchro stuff apparently has some one card the crazy combo thing going on for it and only has printings in star strike blast and legendary collection 5d so with full circle there with my earlier meme but it's the 5d's collection which 5d's collection has never had a reprint and it has wonky prices that is worth the most even though it's a common instead of a rare for now downer magician has been bought out for a lot of different versions of it and i actually posted some of these in the discord for sale i usually don't play in the vending but i listed them way under market to give people in the discord a deal i still have some gold rare ones up there by the way and i believe 22 dollars a piece even with international shipping if you're doing on the track because tracked international would be worth pretty much that but i don't really vend anymore but i just looked at this and i'm like i want to give a bunch of people a deal i limited people to five a piece and the secret rares all went where only three gold rares sold and we can even see here gold rares are selling hitting up towards 40 dollars on here just crazy now and what's really funny is it's just an extra material for zeus yet zeus is like one third of this price now for the ultra rare we watched this hit 20 and now it's just going crazy so i wanted to reach back out and give a deal to my community that being said though i do feel like this is the perfect candidate to get a reprint somewhere like we've said gold series dips back into other gold series sometimes or brothers of legend but it may not be on konami's radar or they could plan to even like hurt to zeus on a forbidden and limited list in the future that's again why i wanted to do a deal in case any of those things happened 
Super polymerization has come up in a lot of our live streams recently. It was even the theme of the last one in terms of these end boards really get slapped around by this. And I noticed almost every version of super poly, even the commons are near three bucks. So you may have more money than you thought because like a rewave structure deck common, dual devastator ultra, all these printings of a gold series last year. So many printings recently. Nope. It is just straight up still around $3 and could be very viable to break down boards of both Baroness with the destiny hero fusion or f0 in the destiny hero fusion it's really a lot of people talking about how they're going to slam the format but i will give a word of warning you're probably already going to use a hand trap or two in the term before then use this to take care of those two problem cards and with rusty bardish that leaves like two fog blades so you better be prepared with like cards that can one to two cards still combo break a board and even play through other disruptions if you're committing two cards to this but those two cards take care of two huge problems and give you a body on board as well boral sword dragons getting played by some pk players over access code talker from what i've seen in both ocg and prepped for tcg list and i do find it as a real game ender that still is able to do it and the secret rare battles of legend versions have been disappearing and very low on quantity and the originals are starting to go up too for the secret rares as people don't want to go down to ultra rare and especially not the john lennon boral sword dragon art from maximum gold but yeah the secret rares are disappearing that's something to know if you are shopping that sale tomorrow and for noble knight renowned somebody told me they got their orders canceled the scummy things vendors will do sometimes there's good buyers and sellers bad buyers and sellers good vendors bad vendors they told me they had multiple orders canceled and then they saw it shot up towards 30 there is one seller here with low feedback at this but he's been there a while maybe he can't move it or something but i see that the rest of these are 30 and then goes up quickly people really back on fire warriors huh let me know if you think it's going to impact the meta or slam in the infernoble knight slash fire warrior is it because we also do have other noble knight support coming i don't feel like that in tax this so much but let me know your thoughts of why it's just shooting up and skyrocketing right here this is a weird conversation i had with stream somebody said the berserk gorilla buyout's ridiculous i looked over here and i actually disagree a good bit when i clicked on like i get it dr2 those cards are always going to go but when i clicked on the original the ioc rare i was kind of shocked to see first off the unlims are two that's reasonable because these packs got the rewaved right but when i was looking for the first editions like oh how ridiculous can it to be they were only and i say only around eight dollars for a card used in beast down an iconic deck within this format so my argument here actually is i felt like these are a bit undervalued and some of those eight dollar ones have gone and you can see it's going up somewhat quickly there's not many quantities but with ioc a first edition pack is like they've sold out at a hundred dollars loose they could be like scaled and stuff right and a sealed box is way more and look it's on the front page all the way up here above a lot of hollows for what it goes for and its sales rate and that sort of thing i think that honestly i could see this being a 20 dollar card down the line i really feel like like i'm not gonna say to the moon a hundred dollar rare crazy it should be worth the pack but i feel like for what a first edition ioc pack costs and if you pack this you're not the most mad to see that rare I feel like that's, for an actual near mint, 20 would be reasonable. So I don't find that buyout all that ridiculous, personally. Anti-spell fragrance. Dual Devastator versions are still very cheap. I'm starting to see this pop up a lot more in decks. Like, some people plan going second decks, that sort of thing. Dueling Book is a different meta. But I see a lot of people teching anti-spell fragrance heading forward. And that says to me, you might want to pick up the version you want sooner than later. Every time we've seen this targeted, it starts to go way down in quantities, up in price for the nicer version. So just something to consider. You might want to look for the version you want if you think you'll be playing it during the upcoming metagames to try to stun people like the ability to flip this up and ah yeah your destiny fusion what you better verte you better hope i don't stop your verte that sort of stuff i think that's why it's seeing more play you can't the hard destiny fusion if you flip this up elemental hero stratos is bought out to insane proportions it's not even the ultimate it's the jmps john it's great that's what you just said jmps so they thought it was the only version of the jump and why it's gone up well we talked about this with the blue eyes right the jump version of this is still sitting pretty at 10 but the scholastic version is way up it's easier to make this like jump up and then go up towards the front and be like oh look this card's so crazy but i'll sell it to you for this this look for that little one letter difference when it comes to here versus here but also that limited edition still does flip around even with cards that old isn't that impressive also apprentice illusion magician is another example of this the jmps is 
there's way more, the jump is less. Now, there are probably collectors who truly prefer this. Maybe there are way less quantities of it for that letter. Maybe people prefer the limited edition down there instead of up there on the older cards. But I, I don't know. I feel like just go for the Jump Magazine promo. It's $110 different if you want an Ultra Stat Stratus. Like, I'm just not seeing it and I'm not buying into the hype. But let me know if you are in the collector's market what you think about this difference. I find it utterly ridiculous that people are willing to even spend 8x, 9x on copies of these versus just settling over here. It almost feels like... I, I, it's just, maybe I'm the guy who doesn't get it this time, but just flipping around that limited edition, I don't feel like that's an 8x worth, personally. That being said, thanks for watching today's Market Watch. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoy discussions such as 6969. Six, nice free giveaways to enter with huge prizes, even if I'm not sponsored. And everything happening around the market. Seriously, guys, I, I couldn't do what I get to do every day without you. And it makes me really happy to get to do this as a job. Like, I, I know I've been getting mushy, but like in the live streams, like talking to people about their situations, what they go through, how things are going, like, I'm so lucky to get to do this as a job and I really appreciate it.